So I did a video on Kittle and I got a really good response. And in that video, I asked some people, I said, do you want to see a full tutorial? And I got an answer. Yes, please do a tutorial for Kittle. Thanks for the helpful info. I really need this. Something, 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 something. So I'm begging you for a full tutorial so I can get to designing and sending to Supercolor. Please do a full tutorial on Kiddo. I am so glad I found your channel. I'm doing my DD on the POD. Your channel is one of the best on YouTube. Please do a deeper dive on this subject. Full tutorial, please. Well, Gary and T-Shirt Help Desk are at your service. You asked for it, you got it. Here is a quick and dirty crash course on how to use Kittle. Let's make some T-Shirt. Okay, guys, this is Kittle. All right, you can go up to the card and you can see my first video, but this is going to be a crash course on Kittle. Okay, first of all, as you should know, there's a whole bunch of different um, categories that you can go to all logos, labels, t-shirts, posters, cards, and social, right? Most of these things you're going to use in your t-shirt business and you can go down and just start looking. Um, you can go right into these hashtags or you can put in something specifically, uh, to find, right? I'm just going to go right here to all and I'm going to do all because here's the great thing is that although something may be a logo, something may be for social, you never know, it could be used for a t-shirt. Now, the benefit of Kittle is that everything that you see here, right, is this is, it, you can turn it into a t-shirt and you can customize everything. Everything you see, you can customize it. So I'm just going through here. We're going to find one. And uh, you know what? Let's go right here. This one is kind of cool. And you can see this, right? And then you double click on it again. And this brings up the actual program. Another great thing about Kittle is that this works in your browser. Okay. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to do anything. You just go straight to it from a desktop and you can get busy. So guys, you don't have to use one of the pre-made graphics. You can start from a fresh, clean slate. It's really easy. But to me, the benefit of Kittle is using those pre-made templates, right? But of course, don't bite styles. Don't use them as is. The great thing is to customize them to make them exactly how you want. So first things first, you're going to see the first thing that you're going to use is your selector, right? Um, if you go around, you'll see that it looks pretty much like a mouse. Once you get on top of the artwork, you can see that if you hover over anything, you see it looks like a little cross with arrows and you can select, right? Select, right? And you see all these things are selected. Okay, so that's your selected. That's the thing you're going to be using the most. I'm going to click off here. The next thing you go, let's go. You're going to see, you're going to click. And you're going to go and that is your background. OK, now your background has a color. All right. You see this right here? This is your color for your background. You're going to click on that and you can go in and you can boom. Look at that. You can change the background colors. Right. So let's just say, you know what? I like that. But, you know, I want the original. You can do just like on anything, you can undo it by pressing Control Z, okay? And that puts us right back to square one, all right? Now, I'm gonna click on the background again because I wanna show you something else, right? You can see right here, because I'm gonna get into this later. This is a texture. So I wanna get rid of that texture. We're gonna come back to that later, don't worry, right? But we're just gonna get rid of that so we can really really work all right cool there we go so i'm going to click back on that background again now this is really important for you guys to do print on demand you're going to see that not only can you change that background color you can go right here you see this opacity you can bring that down all the way down to the point where it is transparent really important if you do something and you want to take it 
and bring it into any of the print on demands. They wanted to have a transparent background and always guys make sure that it's at zero. Okay. If it's a little bit right, that is still a little bit of color and that's going to show up. So you want to make sure that it is 100% at zero and you can always just, just go and, and, uh, put in, you want to delete and just put in the number zero, press enter and it's at zero. So guys, that transparent background is really important. And there are other places that will actually charge you extra for um, exporting with the transparent background. Not here. OK, the next thing that we're going to cover is um, we already call it selectors, your fonts. You can go right here. Oh, you know what? We're going to we're going to do something else. Right. You're going to click and you're going to see that. Once I click on that, it clicks a whole bunch of stuff at once. See, click off. Click a whole bunch of stuff at once. You can right click on artwork, right? And you can see right here that this is uh, uh, grouped. So you want to ungroup, right? So now if I click off and I click back, some of it's still grouped. So we want to ungroup again. Now, boom, you can see <laughs> everything is separate, right? Now, I showed you the color in the background, but if you go down here, right, you're going to see these colors at the bottom. These are all the colors that are in your artwork. And the great thing about it is that this is general. So let's just say you didn't like that brown. I can click on this brown and I could change it to that, right? I'm going to control Z that. Okay. But if I go down here and I click right here and I change that to it changes every you see all that brown, all that brown changes. So that's like your master colorway for the entire artwork. All right. So we're going to control Z that. OK. And we're going to keep control Z. So we're going to get all the way back to our hopefully our black. There we go. Now we're going to get our black background, but we're going to get rid of that uh, texture again, right? The next thing that we're going to cover is fonts. Actually, we're going to cover selecting and uh, copy and pasting. So anything that you see right here. Oh, I, I put all that stuff together with ungroup. And group. So anything right here, you're going to um, you're going to go right here. You see that right there? You can copy, press control C and then press control V and paste. You see, it says object pasted. Now you don't see it. Where is it? Where is it? It's right exactly on top. See that is right on top of where it was before. So that is how you would copy and paste. So we're just going to, I'm just going to put that down here. We might come back to that later. Act, yeah, we're going to come back to that later. I'm just going to put it down here. Or if you wanted to delete it, you simply press your delete button on the key on your keyboard and it goes away. Control Z, it comes back or you can right click on it. Mm. Right click on it. And press delete. All right. But we we want that there. Right. So now we're going to go right here. We're going to play with our fonts. All right. Let's move this over. When you click on anything that has like a font over on the right side, you get all of this goodness right here, right? And you're gonna see right here that this typeface, right? Well, first of all, you can change the color. You click on the color and you can go in and manually do that. Or you can go down here and play with it like that. Or if you have your hex code, you can go in and put that in or you can put in your RGB really doesn't matter. OK, so that right there, we change that to that blue kind of like that together. So let's click on that again. Right. And you have something called a. Oh, by the way, this has a um, a drop shadow on it. So you can change that like that. Right. So when you see something right here, you can change the colors. But we're going to go. We're going to go back. 
I like that other color, right? Also, you can see right here, it says border. You see underneath right here, border, right? That's the border weight. In other programs, that will be called the stroke, right? So you can see that has an X because it has no color in it. So we're going to click right there and let's just, uh, uh, let's add this. Yeah, something like that. So now you can see that, but we stroke, I don't see anything. If you go right here, you can move that now. Can you see that? And the thicker I go, it gets it gets thicker. Can you see that? So that can show you can also do it like right here. Okay. And you can also go right here. We can make it to the left, center, right, top. You can go crazy. I'm not going to go through everything. You see what it is. Okay. Now, guys, under, please understand something. I'm control Z this. When you do this, I'm showing you this as a crash course. I suggest you go right now. Go to Kiddo. Get an account. Start playing with this right now. It'll change your life. Okay. So we're going all the way back, right? These are the basics, guys. If you go through this video, you're going to learn how to use this thing like that. So user friendly. OK, so let's go back right here. So now underneath that is your type face. This is pretty much your font and you can go through and you can go crazy. All right. Choose a font. Now, the crazy thing is that Kittle uh, originally was heritage um, fonts and they are like font savants okay fonts crazy they're they're um a fonts company originally i believe um so you can go through and change the font and just you know do something really cool right so now we have something that looks like that cool so let's click back on it and this is where things get really crazy. Okay, this is where things get amazing. You can go right here and no matter what, you can play with, you can hit custom and that changes everything. And now you can go and use these anchor points and go crazy. So when you see all those like different t-shirts and the fonts are going all crazy, right? they've made it so easy you can go right here to distort you can do the same thing again you can do from the bottom look look at how awesome this is you can change the top i mean you can go crazy okay let's control z that let's go back circle put it in a circle you can hit angle Right, and when you hit, and, oh, let's go back to circle. And you go back to circle, you can go down here and play with the size of the circle. Can go crazy, right? You can also hit angle and you can hit one of these little points right here, circular points, and you can make it go anywhere. Arch, look at this. And of course, as you know, when you see those anchor points, right, in, in these levers, you can go in and, and do all type of silliness and just go crazy. Just be silly, right? Look at this rise, wave, flag. These pretty much all are the same. They're different versions of the same thing. And you can go crazy and you can go right here and play around with it, man, um, with it, like according to like a little algorithm here. But I like to go in, I like to go in and go crazy manually, okay? So that is how you can rock out with, I'm just going to go back to the store. That is how you can rock out with the fonts. Okay. Now there's something else right here. Well, let's, let's change this font. Let's change this font to alpha slap, something a little bit thicker. Okay. Now this is something crazy. You can go in that. That's your type. And you can go right over here to your effects. Boom. And you can go in right here. And there's so much really cool stuff right here. And it already has it on it because it had a drop shadow. And you can see right there. But you can go in and you can begin. Hold on. You know what? You can go down here. 
and come in and zoom in a little bit. Look at what you can do by simply clicking right there. This is what we had. You can also click right here. You can also click right there. Okay. And you can play, see, you can play with that offset. Look at how awesome that is. You know what? So you really can see that. Let's go back. Background. I hit zero. Enter. Come back. Go to effects because I just want you to see this, right? You can go to offset and change that angle. Look at that and blur. You can make it really blur. Look how awesome that is. Now we're not done. We're not done. I went through all of these, right? So let's go back and let's go down here to decoration. Hold on. Look at that. So you might not be able to see that too good. So let's, uh, let's, uh, All right, you see the lines in it and you could take the weight and make that a little bit heavier. You can also add a little bit more distance. Look at that. You can go right here, click on the second one and it's like half and half. You can also go right here. Look at that. Look at how cool that is, guys. You can play with the distance. Right, and it's, you can go right here where it's like gradated. Play with the weight. Also, play with the distance. And what's really cool is when you combine. Look at that. Okay, guys, this is how you can go crazy. Once again, I suggest you go and practice this. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's zoom out a little bit. And the crazy thing is, let's just say, you know what? I want the original again. You can go right here because I made a copy, and you could put it back, and it's just how it originally was and you can just delete that. But I'm gonna bring it back. Guys, not only do they have really great fonts, but you can also upload your own. How you can go right here, you can click right here, right? And you can go, let's just say to the font. And let's just say that you like this font, Ricks. Okay, you can go in, download it. Let's go back. You can go right here. to where you downloaded it. We can go to our downloads folder and you can get that uh, that Ricks font and you can go right here. You're gonna get the bold and you can open it, right? And it'll go right into it. And you can go right here and put in, I think it's Ricks or TT Ricks, TT Ricks trial. And bam, look at that. Boom. All right, so let's change that to, oh no, we don't wanna, do we want, yeah. Oh, this is how you, let's just write uh, T. T's rock for t-shirts. And look at that, right? So you can add your own fonts, right? So here's something else. Let's just say that, let's just go back and you say, you know, I don't want this guy, this guy. I don't want this guy. I want to add something else over here, right? You can delete him and you can go over here, right? And you can go to elements, and you could find something. Okay, so let's find something. You know what, let's find a uh, uh, flag. Let's put in flag. Let's see if they have a, a victory flag. Oh, checkered flag, flag. I saw one, but I was just looking to see if there was another one. Okay, I like this one that was waving. Boom, look at that. So we have our check it flag. Now here's the deal. If you can see this, right, you can go in, 
You see these little squares? You can go in and you can make the bigger or smaller. And you can also go right here. Uh-huh. See that? Okay. And of course, you can go in. And I didn't show you this. You can click. See that blue? That blue doesn't go with anything. So we're going to go right here. See that? That is our eyedropper. And we're going to eyedrop right. Boom. Right there. Look at that. Look at how beautiful it is. We're going to go right here. We're going to click on that one. Go to our eyedropper. I'm going to hit one of these, this, uh, this gray, this dark brownish gray. Now look at how that matches up. Look how cool that is. Right? Okay. Guys, this is how, this is how you make graphics, guys. Now, this is awesome. You can also, with all that great clip art and all those elements, you can also add your own. Also, guys, not only can you add their elements, but you can add your own elements in clip art, okay? Let me show you. You want to go over here to the left side, right? You see what it says uploads? You want to click on that, right? And then you want to click and you go to your to wherever you keep your stuff at first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get a ping file right so i'm going to we're going to click on that we're going to bring it in to the artwork and it's cool you can take it you can play with it it comes up right pops up right there and it's cool you could take it you can play with it you can play with the um you know slider and do stuff to it but let me show you something else let's go back and let's add in an svg file all right, this is a vector file. And the great thing about adding SVG files is that you can go right over here, click. We're gonna use our, our water dropper, right? Eye dropper. And you can change the color, all right? And SVG files are vector files and pretty much any uh, illustrative file, you can save it as an SVG, all right? Let's get back into this video. Um, so another thing that you can do, let's just say you wanted to spell something, uh, you wanted to change something around, you can go right here and you can go to text. You can click on there and you can, you can use something that's already here, right? You can also go to add headline right there and you can go in and start to hold on, close that out. Right, racing, capital R, racing. That's it, I'm just gonna put racing, okay? And you can go in, same like before, and, you know, find you a nice little something. Okay, that's that works. Hold on. Oh, you can make the font bigger like that. You can also go right here and stretch that out, right? Just gonna put racing right there. And we're gonna click right there and eyedropper. And we're gonna add that in a nice little orange. And then we're gonna go right here and we're gonna add a little drop shadow and then like that racing right there oh how beautiful that is right and that is a whole lot of this program guys i mean that is a that is a that's the basics of most of the things that you're going to be using in this program okay you can also add photos you can go in and find photos. I really don't use this. I mean, this is pretty much, I use it for graphics, but just showing you how you can do that. And um, that is it, guys. Now, there is something else that I want to show you, but I'm going to go back to the beginning and start from scratch because uh, we're going to play with the background. Now, this part is really important. This is where we get down into textures and backgrounds and all of this stuff and distressing because these are the things that really give your t-shirts that real character, that professional look that looks like the stuff that you see in store. Okay, 
we're back on this bad boy. We're going to click on him again. And I want to sh show you guys something. Uh, we're going to go down here, right? I showed you all this other stuff in this. We're going to go down here to uh, layers. Now, this it, layers is something that's in a lot of design programs. Uh, I don't really use them a lot, but they are a great way to keep things organized, right? So you can you're gonna you can look down here and see. Uh, well, if I if I click right here, if I click right here, you can see all of this stuff that I showed you before. But now, if you go down here, it shows you everything individually. You know, the background, the main graphic, the signature, which is this down here uh each race is new every every everything like this is those words the number 24 right this well uh, Maurizio right everything is right here in this layers and I also see something right here see texture right the texture layer that's that background remember I said before I was gonna get to that we're gonna click on that we're gonna click on that background okay hold on where is it where is it oh I'm already clicked on it right and you're gonna see this right here okay this is the texture okay so um you can go to the texture and you could take it and you could go to this opacity and you can take that all the way down to nothing see how you can't see it and you can go all the way back up also textures let's go in you can go right here and you can go in closer you can see that this texture has a um, um, I don't even know like an effect on it right so if we click right here see it's the effect is normal right but if we click if the, I'm sorry the effect is color mer. we click normal that shows the actual texture we don't want that we want to go right here to color burn right and if you click down you're gonna and then you go down this color burn and then there's multiply overlay soft light alpha mass right and I like I like the, the color burn better and you can play with like this but let's just say right let's just say you know what I don't really like that I don't want that texture so let's zoom back out go down here you can go right here to release texture. And that's where you can kind of see it. Um, and you can also go, come on now. And you can you can move it around, right? And click on that background. And you can delete it. You can also go, let's, let's go all the way back to where we were. And you could just hit delete. And it's gone altogether. Now, you can go over here, you can go down to texture, right? And you're gonna see all of these different textures and you can just click on them. And now it gives you an idea of the other things that you can do. So many of these, look at all these. Look at that. Crazy. And guys, you can go through and just go crazy at like bricks. I mean, it's just crazy. But I'm going to go back up here to one of these first one. I like that one. Or do I like that one? I like that one, right? So we're going to go. Come on. Come on. Close back. So we're going to go back. And we are going to make the. Going to do that. Color burn. And we're going to change the opacity. And that's how you can make some really, really cool graphics, right? And of course, you can delete it. Go to this right here. Make that a zero. 
and you can have something you know that you can put possibly on print on demand and the last thing i'm going to show you is something really important is you can go right here see this and you can download you can download as a ping you can download as a jpeg you can download as a pdf okay and you can also download as an svg and by the way svgs can be opened up and manipulated in illustrator all right so anyway guys that was my quick and dirty crash course on kittle so guys i hope you learned something there the link for kittle is going to be down in the description box and the original video is going to be in a card up here guys so that's it check it out go get yourself a kittle account right now i'm gonna put some butter on my shoes and slide on out the door until next time, God bless, and I'ma see ya. Peace. T-shirt help, brusque.